Hey everybody, Nano Reef Freak here. Here's a tank as you can see from the front, and here's a little aerial view as we uh, pan up here. So one thing you might notice is the rock structure has changed quite a bit. You'll notice here in this front shot that I have rearranged all the rocks a lot. I've made kind of like a larger cave structure here, and I think all the rocks are still in there from before. So the same amount of live rocks in there and everything. Basically what happened is the blinny was attacking the clownfish and tore up the clownfish's fins quite a bit. So basically what I decided to do is just take the blinny out. And now the clownfish is healing well, the clownfish has been doing great, he's been swimming around a lot, eating well. His fins are healing, but they're really dark black maroon where the blinny had bit him up. So I don't know if those will ever change back to his lighter maroon shade. But another cool thing is the stripes on him are changing from white to gold, which is really cool to see that happen in real time. But as you can see, all the coral is doing great. Here's another little aerial shot of the Xenia that's growing all over the top of the tank. You can see there's some over there by the green leather, there's some all over that rock in the front. Um, and there's even some in the bottom right there. And then the water flow has just been doing great. I do have the power head in here. It's in the back right. You may have seen it in the intro of the video. So then here's another close-up shot of the Xenia. You can see the hands are just all over the place. They're not really pulsing, but they are growing steadily. So I know they're healthy, which has made me really happy with the outcome of that. They don't have to be pulsing, but it's not the biggest deal. But yeah, all the coral has been doing great. Been having a little bit of algae issues, but this is the first time I've ever had algae issues with this tank. I think I just need a protein skimmer and maybe to stop feeding as much and then maybe just do more water changes. But I have been pretty busy lately. And I don't know if I'm really going to fix the algae issue for a while because I'm going on a trip for about a month. So I need the tank to, tank to be simple and easy to clean. If phosphates do rise, the algae will grow and absorb them, uh, which is good. So, you know, if something happens in the tank while I'm gone, it should be able to hold its own. I don't know if I'm really going to put a shrimp in there because I want it to be super simple. So I might not add a shrimp. I might just have the fish. And then when I leave, just have someone come feed them every couple days. The light's on a timer and everything, so that's fully automated. I'll do a water change before I go and then have someone check the top off on the tank halfway through my trip. But as you can see, that green leather coral is doing great. Lots of flow on him. He's been shedding nicely. And then the bubble coral here is doing great. The clownfish is still hosting it. And he's got all his tentacles out, which is pretty neat. As you can see, there's a lot of coralline algae on this rock as well. You can see a little bit in the bottom left of the bubble coral, where the Asterina stars have kind of eaten away at the coralline algae, which, you know, it, it kind of sucks, but I'll have to get a harlequin shrimp at some point to eat that, which is not the biggest deal. It's not really a major concern right now. And uh, sorry for the lighting being a little crazy disco ball y effect. I'm using a Canon PowerShot S120, which is not the best for video, but I did just buy a new DSLR, which when I shoot the next video with that, it should be 10 times better than this. But yeah, here's the Xenia uh, on the bottom. This stuff has been doing okay. It's been getting a good amount of flow. It's a, a lot smaller than my other Xenia. I'm just hoping it comes back and grows all over that rock again. Um, but it's never been any taller than this, so uh, it's kind of weird. It's like a miniature Xenia almost. But it, then again, I haven't had it for very long, maybe like two years. And then as, as you can see, there's that green uh, hair algae there growing all over the place. Hopefully, I'm hoping the Xenia will take that over and kind of grow over it and, and starve it for light. So hopefully that'll kind of help a little. Uh, the current is up there and the leather does seem to be enjoying it fairly well. And uh, sorry there's a lot of particulate floating around in the tank. Um, I haven't fed it. Uh, I haven't fed the clownfish today, but I did replace the filter floss. And I think that kind of made the tank a little m murky or... Uh, or whatever a good word for that is. But here's a close-up on the Xenia. You can see there's like three little arms coming off of there, which is great. So hopefully that stuff will grow. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And there's a couple more clips in here if you just want to stay an extra 30 seconds. But hopefully you guys' reef tanks are doing good. If you have any comments for me, comment down below. Some simple questions are my lighting is a Kessel A160 WE. And uh, basically just a Nuvo Fusion 10 and the filter that comes with it with the little basket and everything. But thanks for watching, guys. And uh, post any questions you have below, I'll make sure to check them out. And just thanks for all your support. And uh, like this video and share it if you want. And just hope you have a good one. Enjoy your reef tanks.